Hey, welcome back. So I'm about to make a small correction in my website. It's a Hugo static site and uh, I usually write blog posts from my mobile phone. I I don't use a laptop all the time, but yeah, when I get free, I will have my mobile at my home at my hand. So I write blog posts uh, from my mobile most of the times. So anyways, I have a small typo on my website. Uh, it's a blog post that I wrote yesterday about why comments are bad on your website. Uh, anyways, uh, in that, you can see the first sentence, I am, there's a small typo, I'm suggestion. Basically, I meant I'm suggesting. Anyways, I want to change it to I'm suggesting. So uh, this is my Hugo static site. Um, and uh, it's it has continuous deployment. No, uh, it's a, it's a automatic deployment is enabled. Uh, in my server so I'm, I'm using Cloudflare uh, you may be using Netlify or something else but anyways that's not important as long as you have uh, automatic deployments then this is going to work um, so this is the workflow which at least worked for me um, so I will show you um, the workflow anyways so this is my repository which is currently private which I would like to keep, keep like that um, and then the first thing that you have to do is to uh, make your okay anyways before i go into that this is my termix so i do have ssh keys generated with ssh dash keygen if you don't have one then you can generate with ssh dash keygen but if you already have one then what you have to do is to uh, copy your private, uh, public key and paste it in uh, i will just show you that this is go not going to be a tutorial on how to make uh, SSH keys, uh, uh, SSH keys and set up with a GitHub. That's a completely different topic, but I will just quickly show you how you can do that. Uh, do that. Anyways, I do have one uh, public key, which can be found in my SSH uh, directory. So you can see this is my fingerprint with XTY. Uh, it's SSH 246. Um, so once you have your public key, that's the fingerprint, you have to copy the entire public key and then come into the settings in your GitHub and then basically go into the GPG and the SSH key. Um, so add your um, SSH key. So this is, this is XTY fingerprint right here. So I've already added the uh, public key in my GitHub and then if you, if you do want to add GPG keys, that you can add that, but that's completely up to you. I don't want to sign my commits as of now. Anyways, do add your Termex public key into the SSH uh, section in the term, uh, GitHub settings. Once you do that, the rest of the things are really simple. You can go into the storage uh, of your, and again, I'm, I'm explaining my workflow, okay? You might have different opinions on this, so you can change things according to that. Now, so go into your storage. Uh, storage is basically the place where you, uh, that means your internal storage and shared is your internal storage. Okay. Um, so go here and git clone the repository. Okay. Your website. So once you do that, um, I have an application which I've been working for, uh, which I've been using for some long time, which is Marker. So you can get this for free from uh, F-Droid. I think it's it's available in Google Play, but I don't know. Uh, then go into the settings and then go into the general. And then go go into the uh, app start folder. So you can set it to, set this to favorite. Once you set it to, uh, set it to favorite, uh, the use is uh, that uh, once you clone the repository and go in to the directory and go into the contents and long press on this uh, what, uh, blog or whatever uh, folder that you want to show whenever the app uh, is opening and then long press and uh, make it favorite so once you make it favorite uh, each time when you open it it will show you the contents of the that particular folder so it's it's easy for you to navigate through the blog posts so the post that I want to edit is why comments are disabled on my website. And then the correction that I have to make is here. So I'm, I'm suggesting, okay, that's fine. And then hit on save. And then 
come into your Termex and then I have an alias which I will show you now so this is the alias so I'm going to call this block push so basically it is going into the directory which I have cloned and then git add then git commit basically I can do this with git uh, commit am but I guess that's not going to add the files anyways uh, then I'm going to add the files then committing the files with the uh, command new uh, but it's not a good practice to use the same command all the time but I don't care because I know exactly know what I'm going to do in my blog post but that's completely mm, not appreciable uh, not appreciated uh, you should not use uh, same comments all the time anyways uh, then finally do git push but any of these uh, thing fails let's say the CD fails uh, uh, to go into the directory then the entire thing fails so make sure you use uh, and appropriately so once I made the change what I'm going to do is call git push that's block push uh, block push then it's going to add the uh, add commit and uh, it is going to push to github let's go into github So once I'm in the GitHub, um, let me go back to the directory. Okay, so this is my, so you can see now it's 52 um, commits. And you can see the uh, automatic deployment is enabled so that it will show the status of it. Uh, which, uh, okay, now it's deployed, you can see the check. And if I go into my website and uh, refresh this, and I'm going to assume the suggestions suggestion is replaced with suggesting here you go. so that's how easy at least this is my workflow which at least worked for me till now uh, you can try this and if you have uh, any opinions or su suggestions on improving this let me know that in the comments and you can mail that uh, mail your opinions and things uh, through my comment uh, email that's mail at benasuchfo.com anyways thank you for watching and i hope you found this video helpful and uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching